Don't go away. Coming up next, wind machine laundry hang. Hoop skirt helium balloons. Tongue twisters with John Machida. Toulouse-Lautrec relay. Musical pies. Car park crawl. Welcome to Family Challenge. Make way for the Falcioni's in red. Dad, Alan, Mom, Danny, 15-year-old Emily, 13-year-old Andrew, 10-year-old Ben, and 9-year-old Jonathan. They're declaring war on the Vidars in blue. Father Mo, daughter Zara, and the kids, 13-year-old Blake, Kia, 11-year-old Kianush, and 8-year-old Shahed. And here's the host of Family Challenge, Ray Coles. Yo! Thank you, Sheriff Richard Lowe. Welcome to the Fabiani family. It is electric. I get oh, oh, say it right. Say it with me. Falcioni with an attitude playing against the Bedar family. Welcome. No. What's that? They are the number one. Tell them right there. They are the number one. That is Kanush. That's right. And here we have Sh Shah. All right. The blue family. Two great families, right? We're starting outside because the only place to start an event like this is a place where all I can say is if someone's blown away, they won't be blown that far. We've got two wonderful families. I'm going to quickly find out a little bit about them. But before the game, we tossed a coin. The red team won the toss. Alan elected that the blue team would go first in this event. So I'm going to start by talking to Alan. Bad, bad choice for them, for them, because you're going to kill them, right? Yeah. Alan, they're saying that you made a bad choice by letting them go first. Quickly, your family, uh, how's everyone related? This is my wife, Danny. Lovely. And this is our niece, Emily. Yes. Our nephew, Andrew, and our sons, Ben and Jonathan. Now, this is a family event of which, of course, you, um, we're going to use th the three children will be very principal part. I'll explain in a moment. Mom's principal. How ironic that we let the fathers do the toss because you're not really going to be in it except cheering. Right. Now, by profession, you have a, I think it's kind of, is a kind of a neat job. I'm a registered nurse. Male registered nurse. Fantastic. Specializing in? Nephrology. Nephrology. I, I don't have to explain that to anyone. <laughs> Let's meet your opponents who are going first. Mo? Short? <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot of people here with the Bedar family. Did you bring friends and family? Uh, no. Uh, so basically, they just love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. This is Zena, my daughter. Blake, my son, Kia, my nephew, Kianush, my nephew, and Shahed, also my nephew. I didn't ask, but thank you for telling me. Yeah. Tony, they was elected that the blue team will go first. Here's the game. It's a wonderful game. It is the wind machine hung out to dry game, and it's 60 seconds. It's a very simple game. Ten points. If I can get everybody to step back. Take your places. Blue team is going first. I'm going to explain how it works. The blue team is at this end right down here as we take our places this fan right here will blow gale force winds approximately 900 miles an hour somewhere thereabouts the mothers will be standing right here shara you want to stand this way and face the camera she is holding clothes pins of which she will be hanging out the clothes to dry 10 points for each item hung between the yellow lines in 60 seconds it's very simple right all right now from over here the blue team will be bringing the clothes from down here. The only difference is this. When we turn on that fan, they must, in 60 seconds, bring as many articles of clothing as they can to the mother. She cannot come to them. They must stay in this. But right here is the most slippery substance in the world. It has come from another planet, and we can't tell you where. At the end of 60 seconds, we'll see how many articles they have, 10 points an article. Clean, hang, don't make us. Don't make us work for this red team if you get more articles. Good luck. I want to turn the fan on. I want the kids to take their places. Okay. All right. Now, when, when I say go, 
We're gonna throw the clothes in. You hand them to her. Ready? Go! Mom, mom, get back, mother! Fight your way back to the line. Fight your way. Get. That's it, mom. That's it. Pin it down. You gotta be on up the drive, mom. That's it, friend. Knock it loose. Knock it loose, Sheriff. Send them low. They're fighting as a family. She's got him a clean hang. She's holding on to the line. How? How are the Bedars doing? They're blowing Manoush away. Manoush is blown completely away. Get your big behind back up, Manoush. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Check the fans. Stop. Check the fans. Check. No more. Check. Manoush, you were running this way with Clark. Did you get Did you get confused? Yeah. It got disoriented. We, I think we have a shot of you actually throwing clothes this way. Well, let's kind of. This is what's most important. Now, I tried to be. I want you just to step back, Mom, because you tried to cheat a little bit. You, you held on for dear life, and I asked you to spread them out evenly and make it easy for me. But now, you can see here, we have one item, ten points, twenty points, and thirty points. That's what we got. All right. Now, if I could call for a little instant replay, watch this, and you'll see how your team did. It was pretty tough, and we're going to reset your opponents and see what they get in 60 seconds. Watch. We're back, and the Falcioni family has just seen their competition. They got three items, Diane. Can you beat that? Oh, oh, yeah. You can beat that. I want you to know when that fan starts blowing kids, you bring the clothes to her, she hangs them up. I have these little earrings on to point one item a piece, okay? okay. See, if you, you got 60 seconds, all right? You feel ready? Uh, yeah. You get in place. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> all right, get the clock ready. Oh, hold on. Start the fan first. Let it blow. <laughs> Let's get it going before I start the clock. It's a rental. We got it from, there it is. Okay, now hold on. So the clock is set. Ready, set, go! Can they get the clothes? They seem to have. We can only have. There you go. Cheaters never prosper. Cheaters never prosper. Right. Here we go. No one pulling them off of her. It's stuck on her. 30 seconds. They're fighting to get the clothes to her. They're fighting that win. Look at that. They're fighting, to, fighting that win. 12 seconds. We got 10, 20 seconds. 10, 15. I'm going to start. Now, Manoush was going, I was cheating. I want to point out this item. Does it have a clothespin? Yes, it does. So we're going for 10. Uh, apparently a pair of panties. 20, okay. Maybe some bonus points here. Third, I can wear these. 30. This is 40. This is a clean 50 right here. Big 50 right here. 60, 70, 80, 90. And let's see if it's the same. No clothespin. Where? Where's that? What do you say, Judge? 100 points! 130. I'm going to tell you what, this family really did well hang, knowing how to hang out to dry in the wind. We're going to come right back. Manoush says they're going to fight back. The Bedars are going to win this family challenge. I promise a lot more fun right after this. Next, Dad's in Dresses. Need we say more? All right, 
the Falcioni family, 100. The Bedars, 30. Right now, we just did an event where the mothers challenged the wind, head to head. Now we have an event where the fathers will go with young men. We have Alan for the red team, and of course, Mo, short for Mohammed, going for the blue team. Playing in this game, which is going to be called the Helium Hoop Balloon Skirt Game. Opposing the wind, this time we're opposing gravity. That's right, we're going to challenge the elements of nature. These are not just any kind of hoops. These are going to be hoops that in 60 seconds we're going to find out how many balloons filled with helium these men can control. When Sir Isaac Newton was sitting and he looked and saw that apple fall, he didn't invent gravity, he just discovered it. What if it fell up? Well, these balloons are going to fall up. These are the men. They're going to stick the balloons under at the same time when I say go. You understand that, don't you, Jonathan? Now, Jonathan against Jonathan, 60 seconds, stuffing balloons. And then, once they're full, now this is the great thing, it's all technique. Who has the most balloons at the end of 60 seconds? You're going to get five points of balloon. This is full. You just put blue in. You could just turn around and put one if you want. You may find, the fathers might find, the best technique is just bring one. And if you look up, they place it, it goes straight up into our bin. For every balloon, successfully to the top, and there are needles all the way around to stop, you'll get five points. There's a lot of balloons. You might want to fill this all the way up and then come and do one of these. Up. Whole fanny thing, but it's up to you. It's technique. All right, do we understand, Jonathan? Go ahead, share with the group. Okay, I said just put only four or five. Yeah, keep, keep, you got your own strategy. Shh, don't tell your strategy. Shahed, good luck. Jonathan, are you ready? Fathers? Ready. Audience? 60 seconds on the ground. Let's helium balloon hoop skirt go. Come on, stop him, stop him, stop him. Are they going to go? Oh, we got the blue father. We'll make sure he's trying for a clean release. No, he didn't make it. Oh, he got one in. All right, Mo. Mo, Mo got one in. Mo got one in. Look at this. The wind got away. No, let me just take a look here. We got to know. Oh, no. A lot of misfires. A lot of misfires. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. This is the big one. Oh, let no, no, go. No, yeah. oh, How many seconds? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. It's going to come down to yes. one. 10 seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, three. Stop the clock! Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Jonathan, we were, we were sitting over one before it's time. Mo, you tried to tried to get one in on us. Let's see what you got. I got three. Five points of balloon. I'm going to start with the blue. One. Count them with me. Two, three, and the red. Red have one, two. two. Three, four oh, yes. points. Three for the Vidal family. 45 points. The Falcionis, you got four, giving you 120. And I want to tell you, it was a hardly fought contest. I liked your technique at the end. I think, Mo, you had a lot of balloons burst on the nails. You never know. Next time, it could be people in the next event. We're going to find out. <laughs> Stay tuned. Anything's possible on this family challenge. Don't go away. Tongues try to keep up with the world's most malleable mouth. The Bedar family, the, the crowd is so excited. The Bedars are fighting. Yes, settle down. They are fighting back. 45 points down. The Falcioni family, 120 points leading you. That's why we're going to give you the chance to go first. What's that? We'll get you back. <laughs> okay. All right. This is an event that could be worth 100 points, could give you the lead. All right. This is a game. We're not just a game of family physical challenges. We like to challenge your memory, your mind. So we've asked you to select three people from your family who you think have the best memories. So you selected? 
Yes, I did. You selected <laughs> Kanush. All right. And Zara. Zara. This is the memory game. It's very simple. We're going to let your team go first and to explain how it works. Uh, I'm going to invite a very good friend of ours. We love him. John Mashita, ladies and gentlemen, is going to help me with this game. Yes, John, welcome to the show. Good to see you. Thank you, Ray. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Get you, these guys just step over here. Now, what we're going to do, this is a game that's going to involve you guys paying attention. Now, John is a good friend of mine. I'm going to give him the mic. Let him explain the score. Okay, Ray, you know, I love this show. I'm a real big fan of it. Everything is really sticky and gooey and ooey. So I just made a little list here of ten of the icky, gooeyest, stickiest things that they have on the show. And all you have to do is repeat it after me. So if everyone's ready, just oh, listen. Let me, get the, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You've made a list of the kind of things that, you, uh, that happen on this show, and you're going to read it, and all they have to do is repeat back what you say, and they get ten, ten points for each item. I, I think this is way too easy. He's going to read 10 items for everyone they can read back. They get 10 points. Okay, everybody, listen Here's up. Ten items. You're going to have to repeat right after this. One pecan, five, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts, dripping countless calories, four creaking feet, four beat scary meat of death, six super duper scoopers, oozing goop, seven shaving cream, covered suckers, parking room, mouth, eight cream filled shoes, sitting in a room, dead, dead, nine delirious ducks, driving dizzy dinosaurs, ten tons of gurgling gunk, gnawing at my gizzard. Yes! Okay, everybody! John Machina, the fastest talker in the world, ladies and gentlemen. What's that? Can you go to the sauna? Stick with the game. <laughs> we'll try. I'll tell you what. We're going to send the red team off stage. It's not fair that you get to hear the list again. You will be told how many items they get successfully. We're going to take you off stage right now and place you in our airproof soundproof booth. That makes a big difference. Just give them a second to pressurize that booth. Now, Kenuch, you said something that you would like him to do. What was your request? Go a little bit slower. Go a little bit slower. Well, I'm not sure if he'll do that, but I know this, that he's going to go slow enough that you should get one right. And he's going to start with one teammate, and it's going to be Mo. And Mo will see how far he goes. But if Mo doesn't get all ten, if you don't know, you've got to go. Bam! This pie will go right in your face. What do you think, Mo? Uh, I'm, for, I'm going for it. The most thing uh, that you should remember is that you're behind and you have to take a pie. So, why don't you hold on to that? We'll pre-place those. Is that, is that correct? Take this in your hand, view it. Mm. Mm. It tastes good, Mo. You, it tastes good. That's right. Now, right. I'm going to give it back to John. Very, stop it, Mo. Kanush. Ah. You make it the chance to eat much more than you care to. <laughs> yeah. Ten points an item. Explain it one more time before you read the list. Okay, Mo, all you have to do is repeat after me. I'm going to add an item each time you successfully name them all. You'll no get ten points for each one you remember on the list. Are you set? Yeah. Okay, first item, one pecan pie. One pecan pie. Great. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind... I cannot get it. You know what that means, Mo? You got to go! Now, Mo got, Mo got two, Mo got two, but it's whichever family member goes the highest will be the number for their team. That's it, Mo. I'm sure that, I'm sure that Kanush will do much better. Okay, Kanush, are you ready? Right, listen to it. Now, listen, he's All right. Rip. You can do it. Mo got two. You want to beat that. One pecan pie. One pecan pie. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. <laughs> one, Go. one, one pecan pie, two, two but water balloons, three, three walking balloons. Uh, I don't think so. Three, no, one, yeah. is it, you don't know. Sarah, it's, it's up. To, it is up good to you. That's good, man. Okay. You know, you've done quite well so far. You've gotten two. It's now up to you. Go ahead, John. Okay, Zara, you got to save him here. They only got okay. 20 points so far. Okay. One pecan pie. One pecan pie. <laughs> One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. Great. Right. One pecan pie. Hold on. All right, hey, easy, Mo. There's seven more to go. She didn't do that great yet. She hasn't saved herself from that pie just yet. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate 
pie stripping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't know, you got to go! <laughs> Whoa. You know what? I'm going to show you right now as we bring in the Falcion families to see if they can do any better than three. Yes, take a look at yourselves as you attempt the memory game. Here you go, Mo. We have... There you go. You're committing yourself for not knowing. We have preset the red team. The Falcioni family, that is Mo that are paying the price for not having the memory for a memory game right now. Now, Alan, you know how this game works. Very simply, you, you've seen John. I'll let him explain it one more time as I get the consolation prizes. Okie doke, Alan. All you have to do is repeat after me. You all set? I'm ready. Hold on. Here's your little consolation prize. There is 10 on the list. If you don't get all 10, you're going swimming in that pie. One pecan pie. One pecan pie. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping calories. Almost. Oh. It was countless oh. calories. Oh. If you don't know, you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> but you got three. Tight. So you got 30 points. Emily, you think you can do better than that? <laughs> I hope so. Listen carefully. Okay, Emily. One pecan pie. One pecan pie. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories, five creaking phobia doors scaring me to death. <laughs> <laughs> One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories, five... <laughs> try it, try it, try it! Human. Five... <laughs> Creaking... <laughs> uh, three seconds! <laughs> you... <laughs> what, what, what? Say it! Phobia. Say it, go! Five creeping phobia... I think it's no, my no, time. No, no, no. You win well. She got the four. 40 points. Now, Alan, you told me, you told me that Ben was your best memory person. Right. How old are you, Ben? Ten. All right, 10 years old. Can you be four? Okay, Ben, it's all up to you. One pecan pie. One pecan pie. One pecan pie, two water balloons. One pecan pie, two water balloons. Go, ben, go. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts dripping countless calories. One pecan pie, two water balloons. Three. Three. Windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts, dripping countless calories. Great. Okay, so far you've tied Emily here. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts, dripping countless calories, five creaking phobia doors, scaring me to death. One pecan pie, two water balloons, three windy wind machines, four chocolate donuts, dripping countless calories, five cre creaking... Come. Give it a shot. Creaking. Come. Creaking. If you don't know, <laughs> you've sure. got to go! Pie time! Oh, pie time! Pie time! Pie time! But he got four, did he not? They did. He got four extra. 40 points. 40 points. Now that means right now, you've got four items, right? 40 points. And I want to thank John Machida, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a big thank hand. You. I'm talking about the fastest talker in the world. I want you, if you would, if you can, 
Take us out. We got 160 for the Falcioni family, the Bedar 75. Repeat that back any way you want. Tell them to watch the family challenge. We'll be right back. Okay, we got the uh, Falcioni family's got 160. They only got 75 over here. We've got three more sons to come, so don't worry about it, because you can catch up if you really, you know, try hard. And maybe if they fall flat on their face again. I think it's got always getting sticky when we come back here. It's going to be really sticky and that kind of stuff. And we got the pies all over the place and all that kind of stuff. So we got to just kind of clean that stuff up like that. Everyone's going to stay tuned because they want to see more family challenges. I can't imagine what they're going to do next. I don't know what they're going to do next. Next, tiny little people race for big points. Stay tuned as we all get small. Challenge the Falcioni family 160, leading the Bedar family 75. Is that a fact? Yes, it is. Am I the tallest person on this stage? No, I'm not. The trouble is not in your set. These are our miniature Toulouse Lautrec relay players. They are miniature French painters of the famous French artists who painted the Moulin Rouge and many great French landscapes. What we're going to do is each teammate will paint one letter that will spell Fini with an exclamation point. As you go down on your knees, when I say go, they must go down for 10 points a letter, successfully on their knees, which is more like this, but I don't like to do it because I'm really, it's really a net loss anyway for me. Then pick their paintbrush, pick their color, do the first letter. Once they have successfully stayed inside the lines, completed the letter, our officials will then wave them off. The next Toulouse the Trek will make their way down. You get 10 points for each letter and the first team to finish this exclamation point appropriately wins 10 points a letter. And if you do it first, you get an extra 40, making this worth 100 points. Do you realize, with our family, you could take the lead? Do you know who is number one? Who's going first? Who's going second? All right, are we ready? Good luck. Start with the F, and we'll wave you on. Toulouse, Retrec, Viva la France, go! Let's see how they're doing. Let's see how they're doing. All right, we'll go for green. All right, he's in there. He's in there, goes for the... She's off to... For, it's got it. He's out of there. He goes for the... He's on your knees. On your knees. Hey, on your knees. Stop trying to make it down. Get up here. On your knees. Stop trying to make it down. All right. All right. Put your foot. All right. All right. Okay. Gotta pick another color, okay? Uh, on your knees! On your knees! On your knees! Knees only! Hey! Knees only! Knees only! Knees only! Cheers, Dan Prosper! Come on now! Hey! On your knees only! Knees, knees! Way to go! Way to go! Come on! Come on! Look it! Look it! You're on your knees! You can do it! You can do it, boy! On your knees! Big finish! Big finish, Mo! This is for 100 points! Go! Faster! We're gonna beat up. Gotta get the S. It's coming down, Papa. Oh no, 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 no. Finish it up. Here comes Mo. Is it done? The beautiful painting. That it is, my friends. Right here. Stop the clock. The Fasciani family has six letters successfully painted, and I would say to Lucifer Trek himself, he were here. If he were here, would say, I hate it. Right now, they have 260 points. But because you did receive how many letters there? Six, no, five letters. Five letters, giving them 50 points. You have 125. It's anyone's game. We're going to come right back and see who's going to get that championship cup. Woo! Just ahead, a game of musical chairs, where the chairs are already occupied with pies. That's right. The Bedard family, 125. They're trailing the Falcioni family, 260. But Hurrah! 50 points can be gained. This is a great event. If you've ever played musical chairs, you can really appreciate this event. Now, just as an example, you've played, haven't you? Going around this way, just just give an example. The music would play. Dun 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 There you go. He would have a chair. Now, the way it works, just like that, we have eight people. The last person standing wins 50 points. But wait a minute. In musical chairs, it's usually round. 
and there's one less chair. Okay, so let's just do it this way. Let's play musical chairs with a pie. Everyone will go around and we'll put the music on. Shara, would you, would you guys mind standing up? Just stand up for a moment. Now, as you start to walk, we'll place this pie on a chair. When the music ends and you're crumbing around, when you get caught back here, the music stops. You must go to a chair from the front. You must run around this way. You can't come from behind. You can't jerk a chair and you can't push a person. But the last person must sit down in a pie. And they're out. And then we will keep going until there's only one left. Simple enough? All right. Why don't you start to make that march? Go that way and just have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the musical chair pie game from the Family Challenge. And you just keep going until you hear the music. Don't, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. When the music stops, just grab a chair. That's right. Hey! Well, John, Blake, uh, my friend, I got a chair for you, right here. Blake, um, bam! Blake, I think when you watch this at home, you'll realize. You know, you know what's amazing is that I'm going to take two people out of this game. Who do you think is sitting on the pie? Would you mind standing up, sir? Andrew, you should always watch where you sit. Okay. All right. Everybody up. We scoot in. All of a sudden, it is three to three. Start that music and make that walk. Let's give it. Hold that in your hand. Just hold it in your hand. There you go. Now we will keep it there. This is not fair. We'll wipe that out. Get out of the way. Just walk on off set, there you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, you can't be sitting down until the music stops. You're right, have a seat, you'll feel better. Oh. What happened? Yeah, have a seat right now, Frank. Oh. Sit! Hopefully, you know. <laughs> Mac Magic, take care of him. Four left. There we go. Let's put the pie in, start the music. Watch your step. It's not. Go to that man right there. There they go. All right, who did it? Helen, no, you watch him, judges. Who did it? Did he push him? I didn't see it. Did he push him? Yeah! Yeah! I, yeah. Crowd, I'm going to the audience on this one. Huh? The audience saying that this man deserves a seat. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with it. He's even preparing for oh, Good God! That nobody has ever plucked a pie like that! Okay, now, I'm going to say this for the red team. You've got a great, you got a great, you got two people. Use your strategy. You've got a small behind. Here we go! Watch it, it's slippery. Hold on, we're gonna move up. We're gonna move up. Here we go. Is that working? Oh, okay, now you see. Who had the chair first? You, this is, excuse me, come over here. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, this is not big time wrestling. These are real officials. And, and Richard has ruled that Jonathan this time can't cry wolf the second time. That your little booty tried to get on the chair last. That's right. You know what you did to Jonathan. So why don't you just have a seat like you know you should. Let me help you. There you go. Okay. Now it comes down that only one team will have 50 points. One more time. Make it clean, gentlemen. Go. Commit yourselves. Commit yourselves. Stay.
There is no doubt. He definitely was in the seat first. You must make that walk. I'm sorry. We tried to make it fair. Shay. Oh. That means the 50 more points go to the red team. But it's only 50. There's a 200 point event coming up that means anyone can take the cut. Don't go away. There might be a pipe for you if you're not here. Don't miss this next bit. You won't believe it's coming up. Next, a race for the Family Challenge Cup that will send our contestants burrowing through mountains of popcorn and nachos. We're back. Fierce competition on the Family Challenge. The Bedars are trailing 125. The Falcioni family, 310. This event is worth 200, meaning whoever wins this event will take home that Tournament of Champions trophy. That's right. The championship trophy. Do you understand what that means? All team members are involved in this event. Since the Bedars are trailing, it's like this. This is our car park crawl relay. Three beautiful cars. It's a drive-in movie. You remember the days when you had to put these on the side and listen to the movie? Now... The young people today can't appreciate that. So we have re put everything together. The popcorn, you don't have to go to the concession stand to get it. It's in the first car. The first teammate must go through this window, crawl through the popcorn. Then, as soon as their first legs have cleared, or their first legs and second legs have cleared this point into the car, filled with balloons because of all the fun we had at drive-ins, the second teammate may then enter the first car. Then they enter the treacherous, dangerous nachos with cheese. And we are talking... We're talking jalapeno nachos. That's right. Afterwards, coming straight out. Then, till each member comes down, and finally the father comes through last, and he will end up in this tub of butter, stopping the clock. If you can set a time that is so unbeatable that the red team cannot beat you, you will become champions. You're controlling your own destiny now. Are you ready? Yeah! Do you understand? Yeah! Time starts when I say go. Hit it! There we go! Here he goes. He's got to go through it. He's right into the, straight into the popcorn. We're waiting for the feet to clear. Hold on. He's fighting through the popcorn. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. And we go. Second member. Right. He's in the balloons. Stuck in the balloons. Quick into the popcorn. Look at that. Let's see here. He's having trouble getting into the nachos. We have a jam up. It is a jam. They're jammed up. Apparently he has a nacho trouble. We're having a little trouble here getting into the... There's three in three cars. Let us go. Come on, go, 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 go. Set the car, come on. We got it. Apparently, we're having trouble with the nachos. Get it. Come on, get ready, Sarah. Go. Here comes the last one, Mo. You're bringing it home, Mo. When she clears it, get ready. You're going to go for the butter. We're 50 seconds in. Come on, go. Go, Mo. Go, Mo. Go, Mo. Go. Watch out, Mo. Get ready, Mo. Get ready, Mo. You got to bring it home. Mama's stuck. Come on, dig. Go, Mo, go. Bring it home, Mo. Bring it home. Come on, come on. We're going to see how long it takes. Can Mo pick up the wind tanks to be the anchor man to secure such a lead? Mama's having trouble with me. Mo is fighting his way through. It's up to you, Mo. How you feeling? Go, Mo. Go, baby. Go. Go, Mo. Get the butter tank ready for him. Mo. Mo, you got to go in the butter. Soon as... Get in the butter, Mo. Get in the butter. Get in the butter. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Mo, one minute, 27 seconds, he's happy. Watch this, Mo, look at some of your team's action as we reset the red team to see if they can beat this. If not, you're the champs. Check it out. Look at this. Right into the tank. Excellent. All right. One minute, 27 seconds. Let's get our players ready for the red team. And there it is. You'll we'll see the Bedars after Mo did his butter celebration. You know what you have to beat. You have one minute and 27 seconds for all six of your teammates to come through that obstacle course. Dad, drop it in the butter. You've got the championship cup. Are you going first, Ben? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Go! Can you do it? Let's see his legs clear. As soon as he clears the popcorn car, can he do it? He's quickly in the boots. We go. Here comes number two. All right. We got two. They're moving fast. These are car. And go. Go. They got the Mo, this team is. What's going on? These kids are going through these cars fast. No hangouts on. Go. 
Let's see. The nachos, the treacherous nachos have got us stuck. You call it, John. I mean, it's Richard. And hold on. Go on. All right. This could be a hang-up. Sometimes we've got one of the kids a little slow. Mothers are not quite as fast off the mark. She's go, Papa. Here comes Dad. He's the anchor man. This is what it's all about. Who is going to win? We're going to find out. That's right. We're going to find out as he goes into the boat. Who is? Is he going to get in the boat? Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. One minute and three seconds, our new champions, the Fast Lonely Family. The doors, ladies and gentlemen, give them a hand. No one goes home a loser. Come here. Give it up for them, Gene. You tell them what they'll be taking home. Academy Broadway, oversized sleeping bag, heavy duty travel packs, fire retardant, family dome tent, and double air mattress. Products designed for the great outdoors from Academy Broadway. And our winners will be taking this home. You'll enjoy two days in a spacious two-bedroom villa at one of California Desert's most popular family vacation spots, the Oasis Water Resort, and your family will experience the exciting Oasis Water Park in Palm Springs and Tasco world-class zoom spotting scope with photo adapter tube and adjustable tripod. Perfect for nature study, quality crafted optics. We bring the world closer from Tasco. Alan, if you wouldn't mind stepping over here, I could very easily, very easily be handing this trophy right now. It is our Family Challenge Championship Trophy to the Bedar family. I'm just going to tell you, Mo, you did a great effort. And that butter celebration, we will always remember. But I got to say, Alan, your kids came right out of the gate, and they cleared the pathway for the parents, and you went right into the tank. And I think it's very close. And for any reason... that. The Falcioni family cannot fulfill their obligation as the Family Challenge champions. The Bedars will step in and do it. We are so glad that you joined us. We thank Cheryl. We thank you for watching. I'm Ray Combs for the Family Challenge. Don't face any challenge alone. Make it Family Challenge. All the food used on Family Challenge is food that is no longer edible.